I love the bands, but the fandoms are insufferable. I f So, we're checking out your hot takes, guys, on Japanese music news. We put up in our community post. You ready? Ready to read this? Let's go, dude. This I'm ready. This is either going to go extremely horrible. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. How we'll bad see. do you think this is going to go? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All right, here we go. All right. I would say on my top three in Japanese music from Karate by Bay Metal, Thrill by Bandmaid, and When Destiny's the Line by Love Bites, those I consider the best hits in their core. It's not really a hot take. It's just a preference. <sighs> That's a lukewarm take. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess if he's saying I put those above all other Japanese he is. songs. Thrill by Man Bandmaid being one of the top ones. Yeah. I think that's a hot take. Jose Liano says uh, Katsuki. Uh, is the best baby metal song. That is a hot take. Mm. Get out of here. Debatable. Get out of here. <laughs> the best? The best baby the metal best? song? I don't know. What's the best baby metal song? Asterism is the top of the heap. E. E. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bold uh, statement there, buddy. They will be at the top of the heap. They're just not there yet, in my opinion. Words of encouragement. No, what are you talking about? Reasonable takes turn into hot takes. Sure. <laughs> There's no question about how good they are at all. They are phenomenal musicians. And now that she's doing vocals and stuff, I think the music writing is going to get a lot better. And then they're going to start outshining maybe their peers and stuff. You want a hot take? Here's a hot take from Simno right here in the chat. Asterism needs to stop with the vocals. <laughs> all right, I'm going to be real with you guys. This is my hot take. Asterism doesn't even register, guys. What? I don't even remember what they sound like. Ooh, ooh, that's horrible. I'm not going to pretend horrible. like it didn't need to be said. Alex says, Poppin' Party is a great Japanese band. My top three songs are Time Lapse, Jumpin', and Hello Wink. I'm a metal fan, but the energy in those songs is just something else. Let's check out some Poppin' Party. Poppin I don't even party. know who that is. I don't even know if that's a hot take. Do you guys consider that a hot take? If one person is putting, you know, one band above the rest, yeah, that's a pretty hot take. Actually, that's really fun. It is. I'd have to hear more, actually. It sounds like a happy, good time. Better than the rest? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. But I can see why you like them. That's a hot take, Alex. That's a hot, that's that's, a, that's that's a a hot, take. hot take. Oh, Pie Dice Guy says, Vocaloid is the most creative and diverse music genre. There's a polka Vocaloid, a metal Vocaloid, and almost everything in between. Yasobi and Otto are just Vocaloids in disguise. A lot of songs in different genres are composed by Vocaloid producers. For example, Baby Metal and Atarashigako. I agree with that. Um, the Vocaloid producers are some of the best in the game 100% you have to be a good producer I do not take any credit away from Vocaloid producers because they are phenomenal that's a whole other art form and they are extremely good at it so it doesn't surprise me that they produce stuff I mean I will agree in the sense where you, I mean it's very creative and you could take it pretty much yeah. anywhere but to say it's the most creative <laughs> that's a pretty fucking hot take buddy uh, Zarch123 says in my opinion Bandmade is above and beyond the best of the lot once again it's not a competition it's simply a different in taste. Oh, um, come on, man. I thought you wanted to stir up was, some trouble, bro. <laughs> you, had to, you had to clarify with that last sentence. I don't think it was a hot take. Bandmate is definitely above and beyond the uh, rest. No, that's a pretty uh, fucking hot take. I don't consider them my favorite, but I do agree they're one of the best. I absolutely love Psyche's vocals. I love her melody lines, but sometimes it gets boring for me. And I prefer Psyche on acoustic songs. Yes, um, in my opinion. The acoustic album is my favorite thing that Bandmate has done. There's my hot take. There you go. There you go. Right I there. agree that Bandmate is in talks to be, you know, considered one of the, the top in the, the J rock and metal scene. But they can't, they just, they can't compare to baby metal. <laughs> baby metal became a cultural, like, phenomena here in the States, you know? Yeah. Bandmate, you know, sells out shows in the States, sure, but not at the level of baby yeah. metal. Go! I actually find most of the music coming from the West to be kind of boring now. I agree. Uh, my take is that a lot of the older bands that were great in the day need to just go away <laughs> and let the younger generation take over. There's a reason that AI has Donald Duck playing painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that's, hot take. You know, that's that's like the, the take of agreeing. He's the voice of us all. Mm. Liz Biscuit says all idol, anti-idol, kawaii metal groups should be in the conversation with the current cultural explosion of k-pop <sighs> oh man 
I don't know, man. K-pop's like way ahead of the game. Yeah. They're light years ahead at this point, but they do have good music. I agree. I, I, different markets, bro. <laughs> Jay, Chad Kroger says, what the fuck? 850 Nicholas says, for me, they write some of the best courses like Baby Metal and Super Heavy Breakdowns with Dexcore and Jaluka. Agreed. That's I, not I mean, even a hot take. Dexcore... I can't agree with as much. Jaluka, yes. This core has good breakdowns. Uh, but they have great breakdowns. Baby Metal has better courses, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> Baby Metal fucking crushes it with courses. Their yeah. clean courses aren't as good as their heavy choruses, but they're still up there. Lukewarm. I saw this hot take. K-pop is just American music in another language. Oh! oh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh! Woo! That's a good one. Christopher John says, I want a waifu. <laughs> great com great, great comment. For me, the best bands are Nemophila and Love Bites, but solo artists are Lisa and Otto. Those are basic Those bitch tastes. Basic bitch tastes? Is yeah. that what you said? What the fuck? Yeah. Please tell us more. I mean, that, that's that's a very <laughs> safe pick. Those are some very safe picks. Everybody would pick those. Oh. Michael D'Angelo7452 says, The band's attractiveness adds to the music. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree, and that is a hot take. I think everybody would agree with that. But there's a lot of people fighting against that, saying, No, we like it because of the music, not because they're attractive. We got Giuliano uh, KM10 saying, I love the bands, but the fandoms are insufferable. I I fucking agree with you. <laughs> Not all the time, right? When, but you, when you disagree with one of the fan bases, and honestly, guys, at this point, from doing this for a while, every single fan base has those fans. Unfortunately, yeah. fan made fans, Bay Metal fans, Nemophil fans, Love Bites fans, Maximum Hormone fans, even. I won't even consider that a hot take. It's just unfortunate. They take it to a whole extreme. Yeah. Yep. Hot take here. This is a hot take because everyone's going to disagree with this one. Bandmate and Baby Metal should do a collab. That's considered a hot take in the communities. A lot of people do not want that to happen. I'm one of those people that I'd be curious to see it happen. I would love to see it, to be honest. I yeah, love I collaborations. Too. But the way it's kind of phrased in that initial sentence, it's like... Oh, they got to do it for like their careers, you know? Yeah, I don't think they need to do it for the careers. They need to do it for my selfish needs to want to hear those two groups join together, because I think it would be so cool. If you can support yourself doing music, to me, you're successful. Hot to ba with the very hot take. I feel that people don't give other bands too much of a chance. Try outside of bandmade, baby metal, nemophil, and love bites. Fucking agree with you, hot to ba. Hey, man, we preach the other bands. I'm gonna add to the hot take. I think the male Japanese counterparts don't get enough love from the community. Agreed. This is what I wish. I love female vocals, so I do appreciate all the female vocalists coming out of there, but I like female vocals with male vocals. I love the contrast between a male vocalist and a female vocalist. Yeah. I wish there was more of that. I really do. I wish there was more, like Maximum the Hormone. Oh, like it's perfect. My other hot take is uh, I wouldn't, I don't like 1OK Rock's vocals as much because I think those are more Western sounding. But that's why they were so successful on war Tour and stuff like that. Guys, you guys. <laughs> Oh, shit. Dicotic, do you have a hot take on Dimash? Oh, you guys are going to really call me out on this one? He's overrated. He's not a great um, when it comes to writing his own stuff. But when he does the covers, it sounds really good. It's fucking phenomenal. He's an amazing singer. So He's get an it. amazing vocalist. Very skilled, very wide <laughs> range. I just don't like the tone of his voice. He uses the same tone for every song, bro. What's up, everybody? Hi. Yeah, this is Ryan Mir. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Hey, what do you think of uh, some of these hot takes so far? Eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get people all riled up. <laughs> no, yes, sir. No. no, we're not doing that. that Eric's, uh, Eric's the best part today, about man. this is these are, they, <laughs> these are not our takes. These are everybody else's. <laughs> we're just the moderators. James Delbridge says, not a fan of Babe Metal. And as much as I liked Nemophil's new album, they're getting a bit too metalcore for me. Really? Wow. I like them better around the era of the first album where they were more diverse genre wise. That's a super hot take. That's a pretty hot take. <laughs> diverse genre stuff was really uh prevalent on that new album then again you know everybody's doing it nowadays so is it really special when a band does don genre bending now it's gonna get old gonna get old gonna get old somebody's gonna put on an album where they do like this is all speed metal and that's it and people are gonna be like dude it's so fucking cool hearing the same kind of music for the whole album i'm so tired <laughs> of hearing so much different shit yeah. <laughs> i think we're still enjoying the novelty of it but once that wears off we're gonna yeah. really wish they stick to one genre 
I, I like hearing I like hearing a common thread throughout an album, even if there's diversity through the album. Like with with Hanabi, the music changes a lot, and there's EDM and stuff put in there. But you have Matsuri is always like this this clean thread throughout the whole album. This like all sounds the same, but doesn't. Default Forger says one OK rock is overrated. Agreed. One hundred percent. I think, oh, Eric, I, go think ahead. I think they are deserving of their success is all I'm going to say. I don't think <laughs> so. The vocals have never appealed to me. The songs blur together and lack of distinction, in my opinion. All Japanese music. Yeah. Because it all sounds the same. Has he heard the music in the West? <laughs> I think some wow. people who don't delve into certain genres, it all sounds the same to them. Like, yeah, all the Mexican music I hear all the time, but I personally hate it. And so it all sounds the same to me. See, I love Mexican right. music. I don't even care if it all sounds the same. Sing to me in Spanish all day long. I'll listen. <laughs> uh, Ooh, this guy's trying Nick. to cause trouble, dude. His hot take is Mayu is overrated. I like Nemophila, but in my opinion, she is a weak link. I think she's underutilized. Mm, underutilized. Okay. Under, to be fair, she does kind of do a lot of the same thing over and over. So she can sing a lot more. Than what she does you ready for another one this is a big one ryan you're you might you might actually agree with this one julian hernandez says if love bites had a good singer they would be more successful <laughs> that's no, a, i mean that's no, a, dude. asami is a phenomenal singer yeah like and a lot of people don't want to have a comparison of seeing them live in order to appreciate a band because you shouldn't have to but once i saw her live one she was absolutely just astoundingly beautiful like she is gorgeous yes and none of that comes through on a camera and then the way she commanded a crowd and what she is doing on stage was my attention you got midori and miyako up there and i couldn't stop watching asami and i'm a fucking guitar player dude <laughs> that's saying a lot she is yeah. a phenomenal front woman dude i and think I she's agreed. a good singer but she's not everybody's cup of tea i got a take right here I think Asami would be a better lead vocalist for a band like Bandmade, mm -hmm. like that style of music. She has that like that lower register that she hits, like Psyche does, you know, but still can do the mm -hmm. crazy highs. Love Bites, I have like a love hate relationship with. It's like a 50 50. I absolutely love the song, or I'm like, a little lukewarm on yeah. it. Yeah. I take Bandmade fans are less toxic because you tend to mellow a bit as you get older. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fuck you. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, that was fun, guys. That was fun yeah. uh, checking out hot takes. Like I said, this is just a good fun, guys. You know, we love all these bands. They're all super talented in their own right. We all have different tastes. We all have different styles we love, you know, and that's what makes this so fun to talk about. We got to bring fun to the community, guys. I think this is really important. We need to break that mold of every fandom being like, <laughs> and that's why we wanted to do this to kind of just be like, hey, let's stop getting so butthurt about all this stuff. Let's just. Enjoy the bands. You like them for what you like, and we move on, you know? Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> that sure wasn't convincing, Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I want more hot no, takes. I was thinking so about the last... Over.